Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for everybody who hits that like button, shares the channel, supports the channel. We're going to get some guidance today, a message for someone who needs to receive a message um, for the month of February. Um, take what resonates, what doesn't is not for you. Uh, we can't speak to every single person. That's why we bring out many videos so it resonates. Um, with different people, different groups, different situations. Now, we never know what's gonna come out. We don't choose the cards. So let's see what the message is um, or what messages need to be received. I am hearing that divine feminine energy. So let's have a look at that. I feel divine feminine energy that has been um, uh, I just heard let go, disappointed, let down. I heard walking away. Come on, let's get some answers out. Let's get some messages out. Whoop. Oh, too many. Too, um, no, Spirit said take them. Isn't that fin an interesting um, rejection here? Okay, an offer that was not accepted. Um, or an offer uh, coming in uh, that you're not uh, willing to take or happy about taking. It's either an offer coming in um, and they're worried about rejection or it was an offer not taken. Uh, the other thing is someone not listening to their intuition. We have a reset cycle here. Um, I just heard you were trying to work with someone who wasn't working with you. There was the issue. There was the issue, Divine Femme. You finally realised um, your efforts, your what you offered was either not seen, not valued, not recognised, um, and possibly rejected. Yes, yeah, see, we've got the love, receiving love, a reset cycle. This is definitely hurt, uh, blockages in that for you, or you could be very hurt, or someone was very blinded. We'll have a look, yeah, four of wands. Here we have security, stability, a relationship. We have justice card, and we have the healing card. Okay, so a lot of you are definitely... Um, Definitely healing. Um, I do feel a lot of divine feminine energy here because of the cups here. Um, as we all know, masculines can be divine, uh, have, a, have a feminine energy as well, which is their emotional side. Maybe a masculine's going through this right now. But we definitely have some healing here. It's either a rejection was not accepted, uh, something wasn't accepted, or someone wasn't using their intuition. Um, and now they're either in healing or they had to heal. Um, it's also an ending, a broad an ending. Tell me about the world card. Yeah, King of Cups um, and we have the Queen of Cups. So there's a reset cycle here about an offer that was not given or not taken or not seen or someone wasn't using their intuition. They've gone through a healing or somebody had to heal from that situation. The reset cycle is the love coming in. You have the King of Cups coming in. Um, and on the Queen of Cups, we have this um, people not working with them or for them. Um, conflict. Um, it's not fighting, though. It's people always working against you, okay? They're not really working with you, Um too many chiefs, not enough Indians type energy. Um, all they have their own agenda. Nobody working, nobody's working well there together. Um, the block. Mm, okay. This has taken a turn already. We have... An offer that was rejected or not accepted. Someone's in regret or disappointment or healing from that or had to heal from that. We have a queen, king and queen of cups here who would like to reset cycle, a restart, or tried to start a cycle and there was too many people, places and situations against it. Fighting against it. This could be um, a spiritual connection between two people. 
This could be love between two people uh, that a lot of people tried to stop, block and get in the way. This could be another scenario for my divine femmes that were always giving, reaching out, making the offers, helping, and this person just failed to accept, um, listen to their intuition, grow. They wanted to stay put and they really didn't like you telling them how to heal, how to grow. You were trying to help them. You were helping. Double four. Look at a double four here. And it, it created an ending. So for that group there, there was with a person that they tried to heal, tried to work with, tried to offer, tried to, you know, extend offers. Um, this person was inflexible. Okay, that could be you, Divine Femme. That could be who you're working, um, someone offering to you. Um, there is a cycle. There is a, the world card is a reset cycle. There's a King and Queen of Cups here who have a very deep spiritual connection but there's a lot of resistance again against this and it's not from them. They're looking at each other. Um, this is from outside people or sources. Um, this is third parties that definitely came in and tried to block, create fear and, and, and they were successful. Ooh. This could be for my divine femmes, the other group who were with a partner that they could not actually extend help any further. Nothing was growing here. Um, they want to move on to a more spiritual connected love, someone that's gonna work with them. Um, if you've been blocked or, or can't, don't know how to move on or move forward, I do feel that, that those answers are going to be provided for you and very soon. So I don't feel your situation is um around for a lot long for very long okay it seems short yeah we have the four of wands with the page of swords so and then the justice card yeah expansion moving forward um tell me more about this page of swords Okay, the reason this, this um, okay, two messages. For this divine connection that tried to get a start or tried to start something, a deep spiritual connected love that had all the interference and all the people, places and situations against it, um, that blocked it, that actually won, that actually that happened. Okay. Um, Somehow, you, your security, your stability, uh, the foundation that you chose or made an offer to, um, it, was, it was sort of lust, passion. Um, we've got page of swords, page of knights. You could have been given some information or an offer that you went for very fast. You didn't think it through. It's not long lasting. So whoever came in with this conflict, with this disruption, um, this is player energy, this is, this is not lasting, this is in and out, this is I got what I want or blocked what I wanted, uh, this is a lustful energy or you were too lustful um, and that's how these people were able to uh, distract you from this offer. For others of you, um, you were with a person who you were trying to heal, trying to move forward, trying to grow, trying to expand, offered suggestions. This person refused. You are done with that cycle. You want more of a spiritual connection. You want someone who wants to work with you. Um, this person didn't grow. They were a page. They were a page and they chose to stay as a page. And that's all they've got to offer you is page energy. And that's why the justice card will step in. Justice is a decision. It is karmic justice. It is a decision to expand, move on and move forward. So it looks like I'll just say my divine fems at the moment, divine feminine energy, uh, or the, if that's a masculine, your emotional energy within yourself has decided I want deeper. I want a deeper connected love here. Some of you had that 
and you had a false start, something that didn't get off the ground here because of way too much influence and you definitely, definitely fell for that influence and gave it solid offer to that influence. Okay, we've got the story really quickly. So what is the outcome here? What is gonna happen? Okay, you are gonna get victory over this um, situation. So for group one, who had a connection in a spiritual love that didn't get off the ground for um, interference that you, you fell for and chose to put your energy into, this is victory. Um, this is overcoming that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think that for that person, uh, they failed to make the changes. They had a reset cycle, the world card, the king of cups. He could have set a new cycle with someone, a very deep spiritual love cycle. He failed to take that or make that attempt or make the changes. He failed to do that. He failed to take the new beginning, the love from this queen of cups, um, this new beginning, the hand of the divine. He definitely didn't work with that. He didn't flow with that. He didn't make the changes to that. Okay. And that's how they were able to block. And then he committed to this and the justice is either he's moved on and moved forward or he, I feel you have, to be honest. Um, now this person or you, if that happened to you, you are going to get your confidence back. You have someone else coming in here, um, or this is that King of Cups wanting to get victory now, uh, wanting to come in and make those changes, but I'm not sure if they still can, I'll be honest with you. For others of you, you have the confidence and the courage to leave the situation that is not growing, that is not uh, someone who's very resistant to change, who doesn't want to heal, who doesn't want to do the work. They failed to do the growing with you, Divine Femme. They failed to do make the changes and they failed to walk on the new path, which created conflict for you in your relationship or situationship. Um, and so you realised you were blocked, you were stuck, and, and now you have to make a decision. And I do see that you do. Yeah, see, you're walking away... Um, at, any deception, both groups, this is for both groups. The, the false start of the love, the deep spiritual love connection where the changes were not made and someone was definitely not listening to their intuition here, not willing to heal, not willing to look, or it was like um, ignoring it. Um, they're finally getting victory over that. I can't see them making the changes there though, which is interesting, but they're definitely coming out of this deception, this blockage, these third parties. So they, they're probably get, letting them go. Uh, for others of you who are in a relationship um, that is, you know, that person wasn't growing, whatever, um, you, are, you are looking for something deeper. Um, you don't feel that the current situation can grow anymore and there's nothing to build on. There's a false foundation. You've realised that. You are, uh, that deception is there and you've come out of that deception. You've come out of it. any, any um, deception anywhere that person, place or situation can put it over you. Yep. Oh, wow. So, the, okay, for group one, the lesson that was learned by the person who, um, or let's call it the false start in a very deep spiritual love connection, very lots of unconditional love here, was interfered with. They did not get their start. They hadn't had enough time to build a foundation. And that's why these people came in hard and fast to um, interfere, intercept. That was the deception. They got victory. They blocked this person. This person went to a situation with page energy. They made an offer fast, not thinking about it, only to have a, a failed empress in reverse. They offered to someone or a situation that is unloving, unnurturing, needs 
to, to be taken care of and doesn't grow anything, doesn't put energy in. And even if they do or pretend they do, it's false, it's masked. This is my card where if you, um, you know, you know someone who can make out they're doing a lot for you when in actual fact they're not. Uh, someone who makes out that so they're talking the talk, they're not walking the talk, or they do just enough. Uh, just to smooth it over. This is someone who wants to be taken care of. This is someone, the Empress is unloving, unnurturing, does not um, grow things, does not put energy in, okay? They're, they're not a receiver. Upright, she's a, she's a giver. Um, in, in the reverse, she's a taker. So um, it's very interesting here. And the justice here, the justice and the moving forward for both groups is this. And, and for, sorry, sorry, for group two, this empress, the, the, this empress that's moving on from this relationship that wouldn't grow, they didn't do their work, they wouldn't make the changes, they wouldn't work with them, they realised they were in a deception, they had an empress, but because they were in this page energy, this empress is out, she's out, she's gone, she outgrew you, she can see no growth here. This is a waste of time and energy. She's probably exhausted. Because you, you were playing, breadcrumbing, only putting half in, only saying you'll do the work and you didn't. Okay, you didn't grow. Um, and so either way, either side, either story worked out that, um, you know, no more play aways, play aways doesn't work. That's what the justice is, has decided. So for group one who failed to move towards this deep spiritual connected love that was a reset, karmic reset for you by the universe and it, it failed miserably because you put your energy and attention, attention into the wrong people and these people purposely, purposely, look at that, love is in reverse purposely blocked your you going to your higher self or picking a path or even giving you an, an option blocking you having this option that was the deception and they they did that and you made your offer and you've given your offer to an empress in reverse and what you learned out of that was this play away is this bread crumbing this you know offering to two or playing to um, you know, please too many people, um, whatever it was for you, um, that's how you missed out on your empress because you, you did this page of knights, page of coin, page. You were only offering a little bit to an empress who's happy to, um, you know, build with you, grow with you, deep spiritual connection, uh, grow crops that can just keep growing, birth anything, work with you, and you didn't do it. You chose not to um, through playaways, and that was your lesson. Breadcrumbing can be giving to too many people, not putting in the effort, not putting in the focus, being distracted, um, you know, choosing to not sort of, you know, be in your own power. Um, and that's created either the Empress to move forward and expand her horizons elsewhere, or um, you've decided that you've outgrown this page energy. And that's the justice, and that's the lesson that needed to be learned either way. Yeah, fate is here, judgment. Justice on the judgment, on the page of wands, uh, page of sort wands in reverse. Yeah, you, you've realised, you've realised, now you're in mental anguish, negative mental um, talk, burnout. This player... <laughs> Um, or this person, yeah, now out in the cold, they either, they're either just devastated, they've had a fated moment, a judgment call, the justice, that this, this page energy, this in and out, get what I want and leave, um, breadcrumb, 
um, giving my options to the wrong people, allowing people to come in and sabotage me because I wanted to please too many people or whatever it is. You, I'm just saying that it, it could be in a different way for you. Um, and look, alone, abandoned, out in the cold, someone's hurt here, there's a lot of mental anguish here, judgment has been called or they've realised. And for those of you, those empresses who were in the relationship where the person wouldn't, you know, do the work or, or move forward and wasn't really working with them and that was the deception they realised, that emperor, they've realised that that's, that's over, that that empress... She's probably, um, you know, leaving them or, or has left them or, or will leave. Yeah, wow. I hope this is answering something for someone. The lesson had to be learnt though here. Um, tell me about this spiritual, this spiritual connection um, that was interfered with. Yeah, someone, yeah. Okay, it was, it was, it, it's so interesting. Yeah, the Hierophant saw it very fast. Heartbreak, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this person uh, was not aware. So they either didn't want to see it, weren't ready to see it or couldn't see it. They were blinded. It was a collaboration of people, the magician, a collaboration of um, uh, magicians, manipulators, a, a collaboration of people. So, you know, for group one who didn't get a start in this deep spiritual connection, um, who kind of were held back. Yeah, they were held back. Look at that. They were held back from the bigger picture, from a two of cups, from a higher divine, very spiritual connection here, was part of the future. There was a very natural, harmonious flow between these two. I think these people knew it. I think these people saw it in the person and they began to group up. It could be families and ex, friends, and they, they made sure this person did not get this start with this spiritual, deep spiritual love. They did. And, and the, the, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely knowing that now or reviewing that. Um, see the illusion and delusion they've realised because they're coming out of it. They were blinded. They were tricked. They were, well, you can't be tricked. Um... But if you had too many forces, you knew it. You chose it. This person chose to put that blindfold on. They chose to stay in the self-imposed restriction. They did. And they had a collaboration. They had people telling them things or, you know, we have too many people over here to be with this one situation here. So... We've got success, a message, nine of cups, passion, who I want to give to, an idea. I can see the balance or, you know, there could have been secrets here or unrequited, you know, an imbalance in the giving and taking. Um, and somebody here wants to take action and move forward. Uh, yeah, look, they've had a rebirth, death and rebirth um, with the devil card and the hanged man. So someone was able to manipulate them trap them, trick them, um, whatever it was, or feed their toxic side, their lower side, which can be these page energies. You know, our toxic sides when we're, you know, mischievous, um, go for lust and passion and quick fixes and spur of the moment. There's nothing s solid in it, okay? So there was the devil, there was the temptation. So this person went for temptation and that's the healing and the death, death and rebirth that they need. We could have, um, you know, a masculine here that's very allured by uh, temptation, seduction, um, you know, lustful energies. Um, and we don't need to put a lot of depth into that, a lot of work into that stuff. Um, and their, their perception, they had things all round the wrong way. See, a path they took with a soulmate was an illusion. I think they've realised, um, yeah, that's what's happened here, guys. 
So there is a lesson here about illusion and delusion, um, as in um, someone here definitely, um, a, one group, we've got that group that were with a partner that just failed to grow, okay? They really did and you put in the work, you offered, you, you kind of handed them the cup, you handed them the out, you handed them the healing, you handed them the, the work, you handed them the, the, the work in, you know, helping them, leading them, giving them, giving to them. And, you know, they just didn't put in the work. They just didn't work with you. Um, and that was the deception. And this is, and so that was for the group who were with a partner who were moving on and moving forward and having to face those decisions and final decisions and judgments. It's like the universe gave them so much time to grow with you and now you've outgrown them. For others of you um, who, who, who got a, a non-start with a very deep spiritual connection here that the higher up kind of put together as a bigger picture as a harmonious union that was actually started to unfold very naturally very beautifully and that was absolutely sabotaged and i have some answers to, to is there any what else do we need to know maybe i need to wrap it up Okay, what I need you need to know is there's a message, and that message is actually set up by spirit. Um, it's a text, an email, an invite. Okay, so we're going to do the two different groups. For the group that got the non-start, okay, um, no, they said this is, okay, yep, let's go. For the group that got the non-start, the, the deep spiritual love and connection that was totally influenced by others, um, regardless that person, whether you move forward with that person or they come back in or not, um, they've realised, they've realised what they've done, okay. Um, that message could have come from spirit for them. They've had to go very inward or they're getting a message to follow a very deep spiritual soul calling. Again, we have the same card at the start and here, not listening to their intuition, not accepting or ready to reach out, but we have wish fulfillment blessings. They're manifesting it. Some of them could be manifesting just some communication with you, um, how to restart with you, or they've been given some information that they need to go very inward and sit with and heal, and it is stuff they don't want to face about themselves. But you guys are getting this wish fulfillment. What is this wish fulfillment? Yep, you're going to review everything. Um, love. Yeah, beautiful. So there's definitely for my people who didn't get a start with this deep spiritual connection, um, for some of you, they are thinking about how to come back in and offer you that pentacle. Um, they're going very inward. They're ready to move forward. They want to uh, give love now where they didn't want to give love and they're reviewing their long-term security, stability, wish fulfillment and, and vice versa with you. For others of you, you're getting a message come in. This is a king of pentacles. He's very focused on you. He's ready to move forward to you, to calmer waters. He's ready to give that love to you. And he is looking at you or in you very deeply um, or towards your direction. If this is a new king coming in for you, um, king of pentacles, he's really putting in the thought and the work here on how to do that. Yep. A start, a karmic um person coming in and ending so and justice so either way you guys are going to get justice either way you've got someone new coming in karma waters offering love closing out a cycle karma is now being set if you if for these people who interfered in your connection karma's set now okay justice is being served and cycles will be closed out lessons are learned now it is moving forward to they will get their karma and your karma will be someone new coming in or this person coming in. So um, there was a lot of um, mental anguish here, a lot of triggers, a lot of healing, a lot of blockage, a lot of fear, um, or that could be you. So open yourself up. Yeah, blocked fear, magician. They want you to get manifesting a new start. You're getting a reset cycle, guys. It's going to be overwhelming. We've got the king, of the queen of pentacles here, transformation, passion coming in. Yeah, this passion, 
whether it's from the the old connection, the divine union connection, they are coming back in, um, the confidence is there, the higher up is, there's a contract there. So some of you are getting them come back in and some of you are getting an, another higher spiritual uh, divine connection come in. And that is your justice. Yep, clarity, um, the hurt, the burnout, the, the hurt is over and whatever you're expanding to is going to move forward, have lots of abundance, the higher up. See, the universe is setting something up for you. Tower, change. Uh, you've been alone, you've been on your own, you've been abandoned, you're hurt, you're releasing those burdens and you're going to get your wish fulfillment very fast. It's coming in out of nowhere. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys, because um, I think the message is clear. Um, it does look like there may be an opportunity to reach out and have a conversation with the past, with this spiritual connection that was interfered with. Either way, karma has been set, as in for the people that interfered in a divine union, in a higher divine union, and for the choices that people made, justice, uh, karma and an end of a cycle. I think that person's coming to that realisation either way, regardless of what's gone down now, whereas before they weren't aware of it or sure of it. So this is really coming down to um, whether this person can make the changes, can reach out or these people can heal it. If they can, cannot, um, they're definitely sending someone else in. For those of you who were in a relationship you, that have realised it's not working with you, for you, not growing, there's there's no real foundation here. We're dealing with page energy. Um, there's too many lessons growing. It's, you know, you've realised um, that and you're moving forward and you'll be letting someone go. And it's, you know, it's not easy. That's quite heartbreaking right there so um that was an interesting read but you know sometimes you know people need just the answer or the clarification or they say oh i knew that that that's exactly what i was thinking so um you know it just might help you validate have a clear head um because a lot of this energy is very around and around and around in my head here so um it's all about moving forward now um, and really with people, places and situations who are ready to step up and move forward and grow and come out of this player energy or that was their lesson, that was the karmic justice, um, not being able to do that. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. Anyway, take care. Um, we'll get another message out for you soon. Bye.